What is going down everybody? It is your boy Zary and before we get into the video I just want to remind everybody if you're under level 15 and you want $10 worth of free stuff go to your settings go to use promo code and type in XMG gifts. You do that you'll get $10 worth of free stuff it helps support the channel. So if you're under level 15 make sure you're using that promo code XMG gift. Enjoy the video. What is happening, my YouTube family? It is your boy, Zary, and we are here to talk tonight a little bit about that challenge right over there, honing your skills. And I was able to beat it about a week ago, and a lot of people ask me how I did it, and, you know, this isn't the... probably the most beneficial way to do it, but this is how I did it. I'm going to talk about that and the strategy I use to hopefully help somebody out there beat honing your skills level 17 and I three start it and I can sim it now and you only got to beat it once talk about the team I use and it's pretty RNG dependent we're gonna go in there just like probably with any team and you know if you had a different team than me leave it in the comments below try to help people out get through this challenge and we're gonna take a look at the team I used and I made a lot of different comps and I used Zara lead with Hard Orc, Tromgar, Renara, and Garrett. Now, my thought process behind this team is Renara slows them down in the beginning. Hard Orc has the ability to block Tromgar taunts, and he has the stun. Now, he's going to pick up with some dazes from Wukong's minions, and that's fine. But when he can stun, those stuns can be absolutely clutch. He has a mass dispel on himself, which really helps out. And then he puts up some regenerations, which helps give him cheat death under Renara's passive. Then Renara heal, survive, or revive, and then Garrett for dispel. Now, hopefully, like I said, it's RNG dependent. You can get that arrow. I'm going to jump over into my champions so I can show you where I have these characters and what I'm doing with them. And I haven't touched them since I completed this challenge. So let's jump over there. First champion up for me is Hard Orc. Now Hard Orc, I have four dot purple runes. I went for speed and potency. I do have, <clears throat> excuse me, I do have three of the tier seven abilities on him. Um, everything but his basic. No gear 11 pieces. I have him running at um, 223 speed with 57.5% potency. Now, I just maximized his speed as much as I possibly could here. Really just looking for speed in the secondaries. Potency, if I can get it. I really don't want him to do damage. Like this rune here, I could probably switch out and get some more speed on and you know because i'm really not looking for him to do the damage i'm really just looking for him to get that ability block up and get those cheat deaths and the regenerations he pairs really really well with a renara and yeah i don't got i don't got much in there so that's probably why i have that one on there but you know as you can see i don't have any speed here So let's take a look. Let's put that bad boy on. And... Okay. So we'll confirm that. We'll get him a little faster, but... That's that's all I did with him. It's just I wanted to burn through those cooldowns and go from there. Now for Renara, I did the same thing. I have one gear 11 piece plus piece on. And I went for speed. I'm running her at 241 speed. And I just want her to go as often as I can. Because get up those regenerations for the passive ability. Just looking again for speed in the secondaries. Really nothing crazy on the rune side of things. Just again trying to get her as fast as possible. Get the heal up and that revive as much as you can. Garrett, again I'm running speed with potency. I want that potency to the stick or, you know, those arrows to be able to dispel or the blinds to stick. And I'm running them at 80.39% potency, 213 speed. And again, speed, 
potency. That's all I was looking for here. It's just some speed, potency. Now, he is going to be one of the damage dealers, so you want his damage to be pretty decent. I have him at 3327, so really nothing to write home about. So, we got to think the less damage he does, the longer this fight's going to take. Now, I have every piece on him but the Gear 12 Challenge, and I am... I need to finish that gear 12 challenge and I just haven't had time to, to plug away on that yet. Now Zira, I went all potency. I just want those potency, I just want those things to stick. I looked for speed in the secondaries, just gear 11, no gear 11 plus pieces on. I'm running at 96.04% potency with 210 speed. Again, I'm just looking for speed, potency in the secondaries as much as I could possibly get. Um... Yeah, I mean, I could get, I could eke out a little more speed on her, but I'm, I'm more concerned about that potency sticking those debuffs in the beginning, and I'll go over that in a minute. So let's go over to Traumgar. Now for Traumgar, I went potency, health, and um, armor. Now you could go to Tenacity, so he doesn't get those dazes, but at the time I made this, I didn't have really good Tenacity runes available, so. I, I just kind of went for armor to, to, to keep him alive longer. I'm running him at about 76k. Gear 11, no gear 11 plus pieces on. Potency's at 67%. Speed's 144. But physical and magical armor almost... Well, one's over 50, one's almost 50. So that's kind of how I did it. They really only character i've sunk high-end gear into is garrett i have all the gear 11 plus pieces on and then i have hard orc with the three t7 abilities so we're gonna jump into a fight and i'm gonna kind of walk you through how i did it and we're gonna see if i can complete it now when you start this fight everybody what you got to understand is you have to look to salvador first if salvador doesn't get the um debuff immunity or buff immunity on you have to back out and restart because then he's going to put up his steel shell he's already going to have taunt but getting stuck behind that steel shell and taunt is just brutal you don't want that to happen so if he doesn't get that right away just back out because it's going to increase your fight tenfold and it's going to suck so when we get in here that's that's what you're going to look for right away is we're going to look for that and then I'll kind of walk you through what I did as well. Now, a lot of people were successful with Dr. Frank and Thalane, but building this comp around the Zera lead with the regeneration from Renara really made me be able to survive it and get through it, three-star it, and never have to worry about it again. So here we go, fight is loading up. Now it is the pride comp, and he, okay, he got this. So that's good. Now they're going to go and they're going to get it out of the way. Now instead of going after Salvador here, you want to go after one of the duplicates. You go after one of the duplicates, it just helps you out. So we're just going to go after them. The quicker we kill them, the quicker we get to um, Wukong. Now my kill order here is I go I go Boris first. He's the biggest damage dealer. Kagi can really mess you up on the AoE, but Boris, we get rid of Boris first. Renara is going to revive him, and that's fine. We just kill him again. Then I went for Renara. Then I went for Kagi. Then I went for Wukong, or Hera, Roxy, and I left Salvador for last and just chipped away at him. Because you're not worried about his damage, so you just let him go. So we're going to throw up the taunt here. Now we got the daze, which we knew was coming, but that's fine. Just let him soak up the damage here. And we're going to pop off a heal. Maybe get some ability blocks up. Now we'll put on our blind and take them all out of stealth. Now I saved my AoE on Zira, so we'll get that up. Get up some of those heal blocks. Now, we got the slow. See, we got a couple of little stuns. Those stuns are huge for us. Now, everybody's back up to full health. We got some regenerations going around. Now, we will chip away at Salvador. Because we don't have a choice. Uh, slow. 
save that big move. Now we'll put up our regenerations and cheat death. We have poison, so we don't want to. We want to save that. And you know, for taking dodge out of here, heal up. He dodges an awful lot, but that is in here as lead. All right, so we have poison again. We're getting a shaft on this. Let's get up that ability block. All right, we lost zero, but that's fine. Let's get our taunt back up. Let's get blind on. Now we can go over and start chipping away on Boris. Bring back Zira. Okay, so they got their taunts up. Now they're going to... We got a daze. Oh, he got his taunt up. Now here's where we can get stuck. Unless... Oh, that was big. Get that heal block. Let's get this duplicate out of here. Slow. We lost Tromgar. This could be a, a fail here. Because we did not get that dispel arrow. Yep. So let's go try number two. Yep. All right, let's try number three. Oof, lost Salvador, or lost Tromgar. All right, number five. Okay, looking good to start. Ability block. Blind. No other taunts. Heal. Here we go. Okay. Now this one's working out a little bit better. Getting some clutch stuns from Tromgar. Get up that cheat death. Now we'll go after Hera. Ability block. Okay. Heal. Alright. Blind. Go back to Boris.
Okay, we, Boris is coming back. That's fine. Now we go for the heal. Or go back to Boris. Now the taunt's back up. Now we're going to try to get rid of Boris. There we go. Normally I would have held off on that. But I wanted to get rid of Boris. Okay, Kagi's out. Now we got to get Renara out of there. We got nothing to dispel. But we need an ability block to come up here. Oh, we got the dispel arrow. That's even better. Get up our cheat deaths. Get some heals. Oh, he dodged it. Of course he dodged it. Ability block. Oh, Renara, stay with me. Get our blinds. Let's try to get Renara out of here. That ability block was huge. Okay, we got the dispel arrow. Perfect. Let's get Roxy out of there. Heal. Taunt. Oh, we need a big ability block here. Salvador. Ah, uh, nope. It's okay. We should have this. Just keep chipping away here on Salvador. Let's get our days out of here. Bring back some blinds. Get a heal. AoE. Alright. Lost this taunt, so let's go after the minion. Got him gone. So now we just need hair is out of there. Get up our cheat death. And now we can just go auto. And you can kind of see it. it. It is, you know, five tries. Not bad. But I was playing this for a really, really long time to get to where I was. You know, trying different comps. But you can kind of see how this, this works. You get a lot of that extra cheat death from Anara's passive. You get all of those things from this team and it's really not that hard now if you didn't have hard orc you know the t7 abilities on him i would put in a thalane to be completely honest with you because the only reason i have hard bark in there the ability block is great but you you got to get that cooldown reduction you're not getting the benefits of the cheat death to everybody so i would probably put in a thalane for that extra aoe but that's what I did, and, you know, it seemed to work out pretty well for me. Um, you know, I was able to beat it, like, the third time around after I put this comp together. So, hopefully, this helped somebody out here to complete Stage 17 of the Scroll Challenge. So, let me know in the comments below if it worked for you, if you did it with a different comp, and who you used to try to help other people out. So, with that being said, let me know if you have any questions. I do read all of them, so I will get you back if you have any other questions. So with that being said, if you're just finding me for the first time and you're liking what you're seeing, click that like button, spread this out, get that YouTube algorithm kicking, and you know, hit that subscribe button, join the XMG family. For all my XMG family members out there, you know I love you. I'll see you in the next one. I'm out.